I know, it looks incredible. We could do French. We could do French language chat. Would you like that? Or Deutsch? It has good reviews? I know because it's like super fucking fun. Like it looks like shit, but it's super fun, like trust me. There was nothing I changed. Huh? Right, give me a second. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready for the adventure of your lifetime? Three people over four years. Ending. <laughs> you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. Hmm. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but all I found was some loose change. So. Wanna tell me who you are? Oh shit. Select your body type. Wait, that, like, what is this? <laughs> I, I don't understand the difference. Am I like old guy or young guy? I guess I'm young. Oh, I can be black. Name. Pásko. To byl muž nebo žena? Wait, really? Which one was the woman? Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I was searching for ancient ruins of the I was on the run from the law. I barely remember anything. Oh, what the fuck? There's like stats? Here's a stirring history give you occasional insights into the ancient war. For military issued fire and by only 10 bullets, you have to use them to destroy that since there's no way to get more. Your time on the run for military has made you quicker and you're 25% faster in spending. Your recent had trauma increased your pain treasure and make you 50. Alright, I'll take the archaeologist. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Yes. Then you'll definitely want to hear this. Alright, tell me. I don't me. know if it's exactly what you're looking for, yes. but there are some ruins just behind you. Oh my god. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Alfred. Who the he fuck is Al? He hours ago and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. <laughs> I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. Got it all already. What I mean is, I was hoping... 
You wouldn't mind going in there to find him? Why? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Okay, we have a deal. Oh, of course. Wait, if I, oh, I have to read my lines. I just... What do you want to know? Well, are you talking to me about the ruins of tried calling for help? Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. Wait, what? I guess not. But maybe the two of you wait, can what? what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. Find him, that is. So, you don't know him. He's a random guy, like me. So why the fuck did he made you stay here? And why are you waiting for him? If you don't know each other. What is this? Okay, what's your fucking well, story? There's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job without any commute. You know what I mean? No. That never happened to me. Yeah, what's your fucking name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. What? Uh. I'd really like to know. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's you did. Her teeth are weird. I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. Oh no! Oh, those cutter names have really ruined that name, huh? Uh, <laughs> something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems. Like. Search. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Okay, who the fuck is... Like, what, what is... You don't even know who he is. Alright, there's not really... I don't want to, like, do all the questions. So I guess, like, those two are pretty much irrelevant. I guess. You really don't remember? Oh. We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Okay, Chad, I have to Google. I don't actually know where the Tiber is. Or Tiber in Czech. I know it's Tiber. Is that the main river that floats in Rome? Oh, it is! Okay. I probably should have known that. Alright, I'm good. Wait, what? Did I just bug the game? Um... <laughs> no! Oh, what the fuck? Great. Okay. So you're ready to go look for Al? Uh, sure. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please. Hurry. So like oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Ooh a heavy duty powered flashlight battery powered flashlight. Fuck yeah. I can examine. Very cool. Alright, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Oh god the lag. Okay, I, I need to know how this looks on stream. Is it lagging, chat? I can't tell. Looks fine. I can be honest. I think the blur... Shit. Fuck it. There has to be... Yeah, motion blur. Fuck motion blur. That shit always fucks with steam. It should look better now. Does it look better? Alright, how do I equip? Okay, I have a scroll wheel. Very cool. Alright, tell me if there's a problem with the visuals. Alright. So I don't really know what the, who the fuck I am and what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm looking for Al. I just don't know why this is my problem. I mean, I guess I like the hot girl, but if I help her save Al, then... She's gonna go with Al and fuck me. I mean, not fuck me. 
Okay, read. Your reading this, it means I discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except what? And a lot of inscription here it reads. Can you finish? What the fuck was that? I didn't expect this. What does it read, Al? Oh. It reads, you who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Okay. The underground city has remained a secret for all this time. The people have survived down there, against the odds. Seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Uh... A word. Okay, this isn't creepy at all. Where's my flashlight? Mm. Very cool. He does not look happy. So in this game we have to be very observant. Roman gladiator made stray, what could have made the gladiator flee? That's a good question. I must say the art on the statues looks pretty cool. Oh, loading screen. Oh! Oh my god, I killed him! Or her. Young Roman woman. It looks like she was begging for her life. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! What am I doing? This is Haram. Sedge. Alright. The fun part begins. I don't know when, but it's about to. F5 to quick save, F9 to quick load. Holy shit, I didn't use this mechanic for such a long time. Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Alright, clearly something happened, something bad. Roman legion in state of terror. Okay, okay. Very cool. wants me to leave this place. She doesn't like how this looks. Yeah, they're all scared as fuck. What the fuck is whispering to me? A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Such. Holy shit, this is a massive fucking cave, bro. Oh, it's laughed. This is the best game on the world, you know? Oh. Wait. Wait, why is there a hanged statue? The fuck? That makes no sense. No such a man wearing more than clothing. This must be all, but how is that? Wait, what? It's all! Now I see why she wanted to. Why she is waiting for him. He's fucking hot, bro. Can I step. Ah! Alright. this. I'm sorry you had to find her like this. It's worse. She'll suffer the same thing I did. She spends a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. Hard to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. 
Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Okay, he's telling me to kill myself. I like that guy. A young Roman woman in state of. Oh no! She's dead. Alright. Well, let's do exactly what he told me not to do. That sounds like a good idea. Roman man on his knees as he's begging gods for mercy. Um. Okay. That looks like a black hole. Oh. Uh, okay. Way to drink. My eyes! See the objective matter for you going to be I become I come beside you. This is the longest loading screen ever. Alright, we arrived boys, the forgotten city. How many are you depicting Great Circle Portal and two women? Oh, I thought we were looking at the apples. How many Great Circle Portal and two women? I wonder who they could be. Hmm. Women? Booba? Holy shit, this place is beautiful! Hello? Uh, Salve, friend. Salve! Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Sun of the Serpent? It wasn't Salva, like, exactly like the Nazi, Nazi Heil thing. Or did they do the arm in front while Nazis did it? I'm not sure. I don't actually know. I think it was similar, yeah. So it was straight up, the hand. You mean like front or right? Or was it like this, you mean? No, don't raise your arm. God damn it! Just the hand goes straight up. Oh, like this? Salve? Salve, Kambi. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm Galerius. My thing who you are, what you're doing in Shrine. Wait, you're speaking English? What? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try, but I'll ask again. Who are you, and what were you doing in this ride? Wait, can I go to settings? I can. I'm Pasco and I just come from the future. <laughs> I'm Pasco and I got lost. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit... Special. You know, <laughs> that's in the head. That's alright, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Oh, no! Uh, what's today's day? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? The year! It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? Wait, when is the fucking Rome was fucking founded? Oh, CE. Archaeology's insight! CE? No, I don't know, know what CE is, is that after about. Christ? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of 
horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Sure. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. <laughs> Yep. Just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Are you leading the way? Wait. Leave it in your long block, Aurelia. I don't need to see the magistrate. Um. Okay, I've just gotta find him myself, I guess. Thanks, dude. I put. Okay, I fucked the game! Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing that we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau... The Forgotten Reef. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, this game, it's worth it, trust me, I, I just loaded. it. It's worth it, this game is 10 out of 10. It's just a little bit buggy. Oh my god, the loading screen is so long. Okay, where the fuck am I? Oh, great. We can skip the carnival. Okay, let's... Let's do the date, over here. You're lost. Alright, we do it. Alright. When I first arrived, I couldn't see you if there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. 23. Nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce her to your handsome new friend? Oh! Keep it in your long block, Aurelia. I'm taking you to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her uh, if I were you. She's. Uh, Alright, I wanted to increase the fucking voice volume. There we go. Down in your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Ah, that one needs to get stuck the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Lydia. She means, well, she's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in the creature's clinic in the shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing that we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. No, no, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the village. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our Chose new friends to see the magistrate. I was asking me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. 
Don't let them use you. What was that? Okay. Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name Sorry. is Lucius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. What's this about? I suspect the magistrate wants to brief you about the golden rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in Malaysia, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten. Oh, decimation! And the leather drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes that we collected. We call it decimation. Basak Firehood. That seems like rough justice to you. You're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. Oh! The magistrate can explain the rest. Can I. He's up these stairs. Can I go. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Oh! Oh. All right, we'll talk to her later. Let's just do the main quest for now. There's a lot to explore, man. Is that him? Oh God! Oh God! Sure, you pass him. Curious accent. Pasconius. I digress. I see you have the person and astute eyes of a man of great learning. Yes. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you. And I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city you built. Deep in the mountains, many hundreds of years ago. It is beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates. Seven months. Working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. What? Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I mean, Usti Nadladen is pretty much without sin. Unless, you know... Unless... You count Fiedler beating up his girlfriend multiple times and then streaming on Twitch and making money out of it while Twitch doesn't give a single fuck. Other than that, Ustina Blabem is pretty much. Alright, let's say yes. Well, Fuck sure you! But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. Wait, what? You see, the builders of this place, whoever they left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one but what we can gather breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of medusa and midas combined turning us all to gold we can call it the golden it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else the Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please. Ask away. Okay, he's crazy. 
Okay, what counts as a sin is a very good question. An intelligent question. Yes, thank you. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy? Yeah, fuck you, Gumby. Trying to escape. No. Infidelity. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but it's legal and always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force... You rape slaves! What do you mean? You torture children! You rape children slaves! Comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? And what about the slaves that are not your citizens? And when they are wrong, That's true. They have the right to bring the guilty party before the That's also true. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as uh, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric. Well, you still can rape slaves because they're not considered citizens. Don't you laws allow slave ownership? Of course. Of well, course! Do do with those prisoners of war? Of course! Besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Uh, like? Don't you people... I mean, honestly, blood sports are pretty... Like, if you compare blood sports to fucking MMA, MMA is the fucking pussy shit. I, I honestly vote for bringing blood sports back to our civilization. Like, that shit is fun as fuck. Like, MMA is like for fucking... For fucking pussy boys. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Yeah, what about v women? Of course. But of course! <laughs> of course! The right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. That's the worst argument I've ever heard. Don't you persecute Christians? Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Did you actually know shit? Fun fact. Rome invented Christianity. I mean, you probably know that, right? Because of Vatican, but they literally invented it. I am not don't remember exactly which imperator it was. But they basically created all the laws. They decided that Jesus Christ was sacred. They made sure that his entire family is dead. So he can be called son of God, so like you know, there's no bloodline and shit. They decided all this shit. And do you practice collective punishment? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Yes. Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. I mean, he has an answer to everything. Because the answers are kind of outdated. Well, right now... You're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous. And I don't like this guy. Like his soothing voice makes me creep out. This guy, this guy is a bad man. Tip: These questions will be available later. Yeah, who the fuck is Proserpina? You see, I never heard of it. I search for a way to save my people, 
I learned of an ancient ritual to Persephone, the goddess of the cycle of life. I want to know Persephone. Doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back. Oh, that's me. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I'm from two thousand years in the future. Two thousand years? Yes. That is. Wait, maybe I shouldn't tell him these things. Tell me, in your time, what did you see? What Please you give me some good options. Uh, like, I, I'm gonna start lying. I don't trust this guy. Motherfucker! What the fuck? He knows. This guy is good. All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Persephone. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer. And of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. That's fucked up. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. Oh, what the, the fuck? You the killed? Performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I can't promise anything. Well, thank you for your candor, I suppose. Where's candor? Why can't you well, investigate? I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new. Okay, to that's true. It will seem perfectly normal. As for me, well... It pains me to say my attempt to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. So there's elections. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the road. Okay, there's like a lot of storyline. Like, a lot of options and shit. Do you have any suspects? You stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it. Oh my god, this guy is so wise! Here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation... How is he so smart? How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect Fresh me? eyes, motherfucker! I just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. Are you though? What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Perf no, you know what, sure. But I'm still suspecting I'm you. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't Wait, be able what? To You just told me to fucking suspect everyone! What do you mean? Come on, tell me what you really think. Well... There are those who wish to vote me out of office. So yeah, I don't trust him at all. Their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing. Like he, he's manipulating me so hard. I would be looking very carefully at them. If he's just pointing fingers away from him. If I do this, will let me get back to my? I don't give a shit about that. Ah, cool. So. Are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? It doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. I suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. I'm in. Now, I need you to investigate the city. Talk to everyone. Help them if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents. Oh and shit! Yes, of course, you're I'm an SS agent. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, 
Come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. This will prioritize the new quest showing its objectives. Markers only. I'll see what I can do. Alright, I don't wanna be fucking held hand anymore. There's a document! Why can't I read it? I was authorized. I'm an SS agent. I can kick people's homes. Okay, you know what's kinda weird? That I can see my arms, but I can't see my body. It's like, like, it's so weird. Like, I can see my arms, but there's nothing attached to it. Alright. Co je to za hru? The Forgotten City. It's time to explore, chat. All right. So we know the plot now. Note from Centilla. Perfect. Centilla expresses gratitude to Centius for adopting her. Oh, Centilla to Centius. May Jupiter Optimus Max Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise. I promise well where it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Cynthia as my sister. I sent you... Okay. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. I have to remember the names. Since you've been feeling apprehensive about the object like so, but if you can just show them... The strong independent man I know you to be, you will be reelected, I'm sure of it. Okay, so she likes him. No next page. Okay, okay. I can steal his money. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Uh, you may go run, follow sentence back to the shrine and use this portal again. Um, I was authorized to do this! I'm an SS agent, what? Help! What the fuck is going on? I can't loot him! Oh, and there you see the plot, chat. The golden rule is real! It's real! Do not steal! Well... Salve. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm past when we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius and you're about to offer to take me to the sea Santius so you can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, I have to go. Um, since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. The fuck? Zipline handlebar. Thanks. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite done it before. <laughs> But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. <laughs> the eyes. All right, see you around. Uh, that's this thing. I saw that. Nice. Ooh. 
Neck with front hair, noli, no share, noli. Don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish it evidently. Alright, it's time to investigate chat. It's time to investigate, where the fuck do I start? Hey. Excuse me. Huh. Her hand is hurt. Or is that a glove? Okay, that's a glove. Interesting. Alright, so like, this place is massive. I have to like, start from one point to another. This looks like the slums. Severus lifts his purple head and lets out his threefold graying. Lydia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Oh no. Alright, I'm authorized. Prototype. So like someone has been hard at work on Oh, this is where the guy lives. Okay, good to know. This is bad. Galerius just Oh. A poem. I can read that, right? My love has been tortuous as the seven labors of Hercules, orphaned, defeated and enslaved, yet I would cipher it all again gladly because each loss, wound and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, you bright, warm, nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flames, but to watch and love you from afar, but in the... Holy shit, this guy is fucking pathetic like me. I like him. So he loves someone. Forty-nine melodies watch again. The incessant mind. The world has lost. Stop talking to me. I mean the whisper, not the other lady. We just chat. Rogers Rich Model Arena. A small wooden of an arena, possibly Verona Arena, which was completed in the first century and still in use today. You. All right, let's talk. Catch the just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So this place accepts all the souls. I'm pretty sure this lady is not dangerous. Notice the crowds that come. But she might have something interesting to say. What's her story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum. Some the house of the ruler of the death. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. They never do. There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. Help me. You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible Okay, I think she's trying to tell me that... It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Okay, so she knows pretty much everything. Yeah, she knows everything. She knows who's going to break the golden rule. And I think she's trying to say that the evil lies within the house, so one of the one of the ones in the fucking magistrate house. The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Yep. Okay. Thank you. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. I'm not. All right, that's good info. Thank you, Livia. So Livia, the crazy one. Someone mark it. I'm gonna check all the chests for more notes. This is your final warning, sinner. Optional tell you suspect Rufius. I don't suspect anyone yet. Can I just finish the game now? Uh, <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. These are some artists, man. 
I'm gonna buy one. It looks Egyptian. Kabash to Kabash. I told Lucretia about the dreams I've been having, and she said it might help her divine their meaning if I wrote them down. It happened again last night. The man by the river was there, as always, his face shrouded in shadow from the peculiar ram headdress. Once again, he introduced himself as Kerti and told me he'd been dragged me from. He'd dragged me from the river. He seemed to smell and said his name as if it meant something I could not understand. Indeed, the name rings a bell, but I cannot for the life of... I can't see! Remember where I heard it. I do not think I was asleep sound again until I know who is Kerti. Okay, so Kerti... Kerti and Kabash are like me, it seems. But they forgot. Interesting. Kabash and Kerti. Maybe Geometric Shades is different than Roman, I wonder where this came from. Hmm. It's a pucker Oh, what? Yes, I can, but I don't like you. You're fucking creepy. Interesting. Okay, okay, we're getting info chat, one by one. Fermented fish sauce used as a condiment. Whoever lives here must love this stuff. I like the art. Horatius. There are so many people. An ancient Roman card, the helmet with an echo space mask and plume. Okay, okay. Let me search the houses first. Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. First I wanna search everything. Surgical tools, some bronze forceps and shears. Can I make the ink appears to be made from soot and water? Okay, this is a surgeon. Navia. The key to the chest in the shrine of Apollo. Can I just take it? I mean it didn't say steel. So let me chceme zjistit, kdo se snaží porušit do golden room, ale spíš se snažíme zjistit what's what to kurva go. My jsme lidi z, z roku 2000 a cestovali jsme časem. Huh. That's fucked up. Small house of Chirine where ancient romance of a daily praise for protection. Budu recognize various dried ground and substances. Lucretia. Okay, so Lucretia and Sentia was it? Are healers, I guess? No, Livia. Lucretia Livia. Okay, who lives here? A rudimentary door has been well locked. Oh no! Rudimentary bed. A filthy false makes even if somebody living in poverty. Oh no! Very cool. Alright, let's sit here. Who lives here? Oh. The first had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked up! Poor guy! The mental dice is designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Curry cheating must be a problem among Romans. Domitius. Looks like Domitius was carrying his shield with him when he arrived in the city. Oh my god, it keeps going. Alright, let's... Oh, the people are still alive and they're talking, it seems. Wait, did she just turn her head? Uh... Oh my god, what the fuck? Do you see this? Oh god! Don't do that! Ah! A large wooden beer keg. Thanks for money on us for a free drink at my tavern. Alright, give me a second. I love you already. You seem like a great girl. F 
fuck that shit. You stay away from my money. I'm not stealing your money, I'm an SS agent, I'm authorized to do this. So who the f what the what is this? Let the buyer beware. The many shall suffer for the sins of one. Yeah, we know that already. I'm authorized to do this. Brass has been poisoned to the Demeter which has been used for applying makeup. Damn, they already have makeup. It's mobile. Key to Aurelia's chest. Oh, I can't steal that. So her chest is locked. Motherfucker. I can't steal or everyone dies. Kill her. I can't! There's a golden rule. We all die if I kill her. It's not an option. Alright, let's talk. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock cap murder. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock. All right, fuck it. I think she got pissed because I went through her shit. So I'm just gonna do this. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Dear Daddy, today I'm celebrating and made the easiest thousand denarii I've ever made by selling a way out to a desperate fool. Of course, it may not have been the way out she was hoping for, but the hemlock still counts. Wow! That the teacher for insulting, she's insane! That since it didn't wait. No! Fuck! I didn't. Fuck! I didn't finish it! What is it? I can't read! Lulia in prison hopes my little wins the election. I, why is it so light? Wait! It doesn't break the golden rule. It worked again. I'm now another thousand dinars thanks to Ulpius and his desperation to escape. Of course, there's very little to spend money on here. And just having it gives me a little thrill. She killed two people! I have something to spend my money on. Malelus is running for magistrate in the election tomorrow. And he's promised that for a sufficient tribute, I'll be able to move into Old Centius Villa. How he plans to achieve that, he wouldn't say, but still, we better make sure he wins. And then there's just empty pages. Alright, we gotta get the fuck out, chat! We have broken the golden rule, I'm sorry! I had to read it! Santius! Oh, he opens the gate for me. That's why he died. Holy shit! Pasak smart! So she made two people commit suicide. Wait, my life doesn't regen. Oh, you again. Uh, Shut up! Uh. Alright. Yo, you, talk to me. Oh! Hey, I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. So now she and talks to me because we came back in time and she doesn't know first. I went through her shit. The moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Is she trying to kill me? And you're just charming? Oh, stop it. No, please go. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny. What? Suddenly, I don't find you so It was funny. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? What the fuck? It was funny. What's your story? Oh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking me if I want to get out of here. Oh, 
I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about. And I don't yeah, I already did your diary, crazy bitch. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Not interested, I know it's a scheme. If you have a way out, I haven't used it to you, so it's kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in knowing there's a way out. Ha! It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the buyer beware, right outside my tavern. She's not wrong. I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Drink can be. Do I have ten dinari? Have you met Lydia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Oh no! I hear that if Maniolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out. Okay, Maniolus wants to get elected. There used to be a midwife here, Nandia. But this place drove her mad as a minad. She said she could hear the statues whispering to her. Can you imagine? But fortunately for us, she locked herself in the palace weeks ago and hasn't been seen since. Good riddance, I say. Oh my god, this bitch. Ventilla, the magistrate's youngest daughter, went missing a few weeks ago. Oh. Out from under daddy's nose. How can we trust him to govern a city if he can't even protect his own daughter? I heard Dacius has been offering a lot of money for a bone. Of course, Sentius banned all weapons in the city, so I can't help but wonder what he's up to. Have you seen the way Rufius walks around staring at all the statues? He says he's afraid they're going to spring to life. But then, why does he have a collection of them in his room? I hear Galerius has a thing for Equitia. She knows everything. Of course, she's a festal priestess. If she sleeps with him, the magistrate will have to bury her alive. What the Why fuck? Do silly boys always want what they can't have. I hear there are blasphemous cultists walking among us. You know, the ones that lit the fires last year. What fires? Some even say they have a secret shrine around here somewhere. That's so much info. I've already told you everything. Bitch. All right. Okay, this bitch is fucking sus, but I love her. I'm trying. Oh god. Okay, that's a lot of fucking info to take in. I mean, it seems that there were like multiple generations of people in the city and they all lost their golden rune eventually. Where does this go? Oh my god, this place is huge! Wait, is this a parkour? This looks like parkour. Okay, maybe it's not. I'm kinda afraid to jump in the water. Oh, this is the farm. Goose X. Oh, froggy on a goose. Why? Oh, can I take it? I'll take it. Where is the goose? All right. So far, chat. What I know is that I know nothing. Call me Aristotle. Hey, Galerius. What do you smile on me, brother? On you too, man. You're a cool guy. I like you. 
Well... It's a broken vase. Okay, can I walk in the water? I can. Holy shit, there are swim mechanics in this game. Little RPG. Little story RPG. An apple. But what does it mean? I feel like there's gonna be some secret path underwater for sure. What is this? Can I climb? There's something here! Ah! Okay, we have to find a different path there, I guess. Holy shit, I look like cool. Oh my god, I forgot the statues are looking at me. Oh god. Stop looking at me! Alright, we're back. So, let's check this shit out. Like, oh, we can't. Okay, so we checked that. That we can't go here, so let's go here now. Like, I need to take this step by step. This place is fucking massive. God, these statues are so creepy. Like, look at her. She's looking away, right? You see this shit? Oh, this guy doesn't. Old scroll. Oh. oh, this is the Senate. This is where the rich people fuck over the poor people. Something like Postlands Castle and Mona. Interesting. Well, let's read the scroll. The myth of the golden rule by Durotas the Younger. As per of custom, I shall begin by praying my respects to the god responsible for this city, for our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion. He deserves our admiration. Rian, I must depart from custom, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching and deserving of our contempt. Who among us has not awakened? Among us! Ogres! Has not awakened at night in a cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the golden rule. I must accept that we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment or a conscious decision based on faulty reasoning. Yet the great threat, the sword of Damocles that we live under, is, I believe, merely a deception, and I shall prove it through. Let me begin by dismissing the counter arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscription stating, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one, is evidence that the golden rule is very real. But it is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writers knew any more than we did that this message was inscribed does not make it true any more than if I were to inscribe Durotus the Younger is a god. Second, it may be argued that the statues in this place are evidence that the golden rule is real. You need not remind me of that. I was, it was I who discovered them all around the city. It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart and placed them in the niches in which they sit today. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the con conclusion that they were once real people. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. When we read the story of Venus bringing Pygmalion sculpture Galasha to life, we do not believe it is true. Why would we take a different view here? But ultimately, these arguments are just that. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove that the Golden Rule is a falsehood, and that is through action. Friends, I apologize in advance for this, but one day you will see this one as a turning point in our city's history. Let us see, once and for all, if the golden rule is real, as I strike one of you with my fist! And they all died. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate, isn't it? Old chest. Oh, I can take that. I don't have to steal it. Okay, my question was, can, do I keep... Oh my god, I keep everything I steal. Maybe I shouldn't have stolen, but honestly, that woman was a bitch. Feels old man chest. Ulpius loves Centella, corrected to Ulpius killed Cent... What the fuck? I can't remember the names yet. Okay. 
Thanks for the heads up. Okay, let's not go there yet. Let's go up here. God, this place is so massive. There is 23 people. Okay, 23. We have to remember that. Oh, there's another zip line. This goes back to the start. Okay, all these chests are free money. Why does no one take it? Oh god. This was one of the worst torture devices. God, it's disgusting. God, I love this game. It's so cool. Okay, do I go left or right? Huh. I don't have a key. Loaf of bread, a partially eaten loaf of bread, stop fresh, whoever owns the present and finished with it. Circus doesn't do it, it's a symbol of a fish, cardinal, so it might be religious in nature. Don't carve it, same shit. Oh, I'm gonna need a key for this. Okay, it seems that, so the last bottle of wine in the city, it seems that this is like a place of where people used to live, like the previous generation, that's why I'm not stealing, because no one owns these houses. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Oh wait, this is where the crazy lady lives. Not from Livia. Cryptic, almost poetic rambling from Livia. Place is called Accursed. These here Titios offers up his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. You, Cantalus, cannot catch the drops of water yet, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Chixion turns and follows after himself and flees, and the 49 belites would dare to put the destruction of their cousins, their husbands fetch again with incessant labor that water they have lost. I think I'll have to read that later. Oh, Idrillion. Like, I feel like that's a good info. But I can't understand it yet. May the gods be kinder to you than they were to us, stranger. Oh, I'm back here. The fuck? Okay, we went through there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm starting to orientate in the city. Perfect. So, there's one more path here. This one. What is that? Amphora of Arrows. Okay. That seems good. Oh, this guy fought him, so they all turned to gold. The fuck is this place? This might be climbable if only they could support my weight. Wait, what? What do you mean? Do I, n I can't go here. Do I have to lose weight? What do I do there? Maybe cut off my arms. Okay, chat, help. Who do you remember? I don't remember anyone. I remember Olivia. She's the crazy one. And then there's the other crazy one. That's all I remember. Let's go! Very poggers. Right, let's go this way. It's two parts again. Everybody's crazy. Very cool. What is this one doing?
There's another zip line. Okay. There's something there. How do I get there? Oh. So I, like, I literally need to become smaller for this. Like, what is this? How do I become smaller? Chat, help. Can I go back? Mother... The fuck? There you go. Another zip line. Just shrink. God, this game is so cool. Alright, I think we're back in the house. Why are we saving? Game just randomly say. Oh, is this where the crazy woman locked herself in? Oh! Oh! Cleaning woman! Oh! Honestly, there's nothing more hot than this. Oh my god, I love her. Friend. Salve. I'm Octavia. Oh. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I'm fine. Ah, another stoic, perhaps. We all need something to help us through times like Yes, I'm a strong man. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at nights, contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule, and who or what is responsible She's for She's beautiful! I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Okay, by the way, Chad, it's probably, like, it's probably fake, because I feel like Roman people had really bad teeth. Like, all their teeth are perfect. I'm pretty sure in Rome, people had terrible teeth. But she's fucking hot. Here, in this place, the magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the garden. So you're a slave. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. Search. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labour for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. How did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, Oh! Wait, Chad. Fuck. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river near that shrine and stumbled across this place. Okay, is this like right after Nero burned down the Rome? I think that's what this is. When was Nero alive? Yes. No. Fuck. Rome burning. Great fire of Rome. Okay, they say it's 60 AD, but we are in like 30 AD, so what the fuck? Huh. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, that's alright. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Uh, God, don't you mean the gods? That's a good question. Oh, yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. Huh. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we will love our neighbors as ourselves and do them as we'd have them do to us, then we will be fine. True. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. True! But all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. Holy shit, I love her, she's so smart! Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Yes! If that's true, then 
sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of... You're not burning her. She's beautiful. Oh, there's gonna be some intervention, alright? I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a chat. Okay. I wish I shared your day. Is there a Christian? Ah, we have a Christian around here. Burn her! Burn her alive! And our emperor decided to make fast with scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. She's a Christian! Christians burning down Rome. I don't think this was Nero. Oh, it was. Okay, so this was Nero. So Nero burned down the Rome and he blamed the Christians. Your secret's safe with me, I love you. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I can How do. much are we talking? How much exactly are we talking? Are we talking like... Friends? Are we talking like... More? Do you know where they are here? Down at the yeah, we know, a, we know about it already. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumours, but if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. I did. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until God, uh, the gods, decide our fate. Thanks, but it's a fun oh, scam. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm sorry I even suggested it. I won't make that mistake again. Alright, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. Oh. If you ever... I can't believe this is how it is. Wait, what? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Orpheus, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Oh, wait, it's the guy who got scammed. Why would you want that? Why do you think? I'm stuck for the rest of my life. Working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulfius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. That's what you want. I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Oh no, please, it's surely tear. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Good luck with that, I'm out of here. Alright. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Go on then, go ahead, bluff. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, please, can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide I won't. Crime against the empire. Nope. I'm suicidal too. No, I think you have the right to die if you're suffering badly enough. You're not going to trick me. I'm no coward. I'm not tricking you, man. I, to go through with it. I think there are reasons to stay alive. Like what? I'm stuck slaving away for that cuelus cumulatis for the rest of my life. What do I have to live for? Maybe you can be friends. Oh no! You're just saying that to buy time. Yeah, I kind of... must think I'm an idiot. No. I am out. Uh, Wherever you are, Sentil of my love, I'm sorry. Ulpius, oh, no! I... I can't believe you went through it. I... Oh, Lord. That poor lad. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. I mean, we know it's not. It means whichever god is responsible for Because that crazy bitch in the town killed not. two people like this. That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted, moments after you arrived. I'll have to let everyone know what's happened. 
And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. Of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor old Gif. Goodbye, my love. Interesting. What? Hmm. Fuck you! Seems somebody removed a plague from here. I need to find it to decipher the meaning of the obelisk. Oh. Interesting. Locked. Okay. So one of the people is there. Okay, Octavia is a waifu. Save Octavia, save the world. Okay, chat? Remember that. I mean, I'll save him. Let's just figure out more for now. What the fuck is this? Huh. God, this game is awesome. Yeah, she's in the thing, I know. Oh god, I just, I can't remember the names, like, I'm so bad at remembering names, and like, you need to remember the fucking names. Why is she pointing at? Oh, pretty money, okay. Sissy, there was no Sissy Force. Seek a bow. Oh. I'm locking myself in, don't try to phone me, nothing good will come out of it, Nebia. Oh, this is where she's locked. Doesn't sound like she's happy about it. I think someone locked her in. And this is a scam. More arrows. I feel like this is a scam. Huh. Okay, this leads down. Is there something here? What is that? Oh, I need to become lighter. How the f- I'm gonna need Hermes boots. I got stuck! God, this game is good. Okay, Ulpius suicidal guy. Octavia tentacle rifle. Who's next? Stranger. <laughs> Debil Kuvola. Fountain producing fresh water, but where could the world be coming from? It's a good question. Alright. Who the fuck are you? Oh, I'll remember Rufius. this guy. Rufius. <laughs> okay, he's dumb as fuck. Sulisha, no? TFT pokeres chat he said it I don't clats Pok Same as everyone else Because we are all in great danger Is it not obvious? I mean how does the fucking armor help you? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm Stupid We have to improvise now if you are dealing with what I am, you will be the eater. What are you dealing with? None of your business. In 40 years, I'm coming true. If we have to. We do. If I did, do you think we'd be having this conversation? Yeah, this guy's a dick. Yeah. I tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Yeah, I can see that. On your coronavirus! It's corona! This guy is a selfish prick. I don't know. 
Did you ever get the feeling that some of these statues were watching us? They are. Like they are waiting for something. I think you're right. Who are you going to work for? Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. Huh. How's he going to protect us? Okay, so he's voting for Maleolus. The crazy bitch who killed people is also voting for Maleolus. Like, it seems like all bad people are voting for Maleolus. I, I don't like Maleolus. No. Okay. Whatever. So Rufio's the dumb guy. Maleolus, the one that all the retards are voting for. Oh, wait, Coco. God, this game. It's so hard to remember. There's 23 fucking people to remember. Obviously, I'm gonna decide who gets voted, but like so far, both my options suck dick. Alright, what's down here? What's. Fuck you. Yeah. I really don't like these statues. Alright, what's up here? Oh, it's just another bar. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to vote for someone else. Oh, this is a poopy! Poopy, she could kill Poopo, no? How did these toilets work? Is it literally just fucking rock under it and you just clean it up afterwards? God, this shit must smell. This is disgusting. Like, honestly, if I lived in the old times. This would be my biggest issue, the fucking toilets. Whoever defecated here needs to see a doctor. <laughs> oh my god, it's good. Always remember they're watching. Huh. Small stick with a sponge attached. This must be what the Romans used instead of a toilet paper. It probably used to be for communal, it was best to put this back immediately. Oh, so everyone used this. Like, everyone used this. So, like, you washed your ass with other people's asses. Interesting. Very educational. Vidíš to, Ruo? To si musíme pořídit. Někdy. Vyzkoušet. Okay. Oh my god, this place is so big. Another lock door. I have some keys. Oh. Oh. Lucretia. Wait, I saw her already. Okay, let me check your room first. Ooh. Navy has treatment note. Oh. Treatment note. Flatulence, rhubarb, ulcers. Ulcers to so co? To so hemeroidy? Plačulence na dřímání, hemeroidy, stomach pain, glukorýsa, revma, below bark, boils, aloe. Ok. So this is like a medic. Apollo! Oh! Oh! Já koukám, že všichni Římani trpěli syndromem svrklýho penisu, což je hrozně zajímavý, když se na tím zamyslíte. Wait. Apollo je healing? 
God of Disease a healing, já myslel, že to byl jenom dobrý s Lukem. What the fuck? Oh! Who is this? Oh, that beautiful. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I love this game. This is the best game ever. Oh no! Like, how does this even work? Hmm, very swag. She has some knee strength, man. She doesn't give a fuck. Alright, Lucretia, so you're the healer, huh? What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Sophia. But that cool as Kubolates Desias won't give it to me. It's too late. She just slipped away. She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of Sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Desia had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That will be a thousand in hurry. There was no way I could afford that. And he knew it. Huh. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that, huh? Anywhere else, I just hear a thug to steal it from his store. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I'm just apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the I know rules. who. Was the crazy bitch? I know who. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone I do. from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching oh up God. to Genetric Confutator and scratching his eyes out. Genetric Confutator! This language, man, this is not a family stream anymore. I'll see what I can do. What's your story? I'm going to be straight with you. Oh. This is Nevia Phoenix. I've just been killing him ever since she disappeared. Nevia is the one who took her and killed her. And miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked, and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. 
I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. True. Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. True. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. She was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism, his joints are inflamed, and he's in Hello, Bark. Who? I really shouldn't say. You wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know maybe I would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Actually, I figured out treatment for rheumatism. That's unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. Oh, Rufius! That's why he's such a dick. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Okay. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. You know they are of here. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half bit hanging by a thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just because you're so injured here, I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. True. Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Navia, and uh, she went a little mad. Well, she used to run the Fuck. until this, the, and then she's been, but I read one of, he's become so irritable. I Fuck! And, sure, what do you want to know? Who the fuck is Lulia? Oh, that's the dead girl. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have to go up. Golden rule and so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Hemlock, I believe. Okay. I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maleolas's villa. And we are quite Maleolus again. Gladly. Alright. All right. Well, thanks again for helping remove the thorn from the lion's paw. The spirit of Androcles smiles upon you. Thank you. Oh no, Lulia! Oh, I can't loot her. 
I mean, she's not that hot. I mean, her neck is kind of... Oh my god, what is wrong with her neck? Jesus! Is she some mix of a giraffe? Hello? I still date her, though. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Okay, where is this fucking guy who sells... Is this the market? This looks like the market. Fuck you. Oh my god, this place is huge. Okay, so this is healing. This one is locked. Okay. So, what's here? Oh, this is food. Is there a chest somewhere? Mill. Ah. Oh. Recipe ingredients, a general pinch of yeast, a pinch of salt, two and a half cups of warm water, one pound of flour. Put the water in the mixed bowl and dissolve the yeast and the flour to a separate bowl and gradually add the water and salt. Knead it until the dough isn't too sticky or floury. Cover the dough and leave it in a warm place. Add the oil for an hour, about to return it, until the crust is golden and allow it to cook. Cool. I know how to make a bread. This game is so fucking educating, bro. Oh, Dezius, huh? Obvious the thief stole my purse and I, whoever finished this, did not get to finish. Okay. I'll talk to you later, motherfucker. Also, shrine. Things to buy once I've escaped. Well on the Aventine, two horse chariots, seat on the Senate, four horse chariot, well on the Bay of Naples, ten horse chariot, twelve slave girls, pale and plum. What the fuck? That sounds so good. I want that. Twelve slave girls, plain and plump. What does plump mean? Plump. Busati. Oh, never mind. I don't want that. Salve, Julie. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than censors and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Julie. My mother told me, when you die, a fairy man helps you cross the river and the spirit to recharge their underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, and if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Something like that, but if I die and go to a party, if I say I'm being bad, I'm not going to let that happen to you, Julie. I promise. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, alright? Alright, Canarius. See you then. Interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to it. I wanna search more first. Sometimes I stay at the great temple on the path. And I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. This area is private. Please leave. Virgil, they may not see you yet, but I want you to know I see you. Huh. Virgil, I know who you are and what you want. Away from this part. Turn away from this part before we all suffer from your sins. Huh. Virgil, do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Well, someone doesn't fucking like you. Wanna talk? Ah, a new face. Salve. Salve. And welcome to a little community. 
My name's impossible to pronounce for most people. Oh, you're people French! Call me Virgil. Well, I've done a sad day. People France! What was Julia's death? I wish we could have met under better circumstances. What's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Correct. Uh... You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the Elliot's position so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the Temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple huh. to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden world? Unless somebody figures out the way inside. I suppose we'll never know. Interesting. Uh, history. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago. Which means the Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this oh. isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. I'm not sure. It could mean... That the Romans, who first started building here, were just copying Greek architecture, which they do all the time. Or it could mean that there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The of course, you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slipper could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. What do you mean? Oh, I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe, far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of hostility. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. Some people say it's divine, the work of a god, but I'm not so sure. It just seems so flawed to me, like it's distinctly human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But the so-called God doesn't seem to care. True. It's one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown God doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? I do. Good. Then I hope you agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Huh. Good question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you will give it some thought. I will. Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my... Gay! 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 He's a gay man. Hey, nothing gets by you, huh? Sorry, that was mean. Yes, I like men. 
And then you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novia Magos. You expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hit who I was for... What was it? Nearly ten years? Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. I'm sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. True. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting, and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least, I thought that was the case. It hmm. seems I was wrong. No, the writing the graffiti. Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that he considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, they won't admit it. Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. Oh, Christians! If these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Who is it? Hey, did I? I forgot. You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Uh. I would talk to him myself. I think that would just inflame the situation. It's probably best if you do it. If you don't mind. I don't. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My boat isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Nice to talk to you. Hmm. Okay, so Rufius hates homo people. I see. Alright, you motherfucker. Shut up. Where are you? There you are. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the blood, I bet it's worth a fortune. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to you, yeah? But we just have to carry on, don't we? What's your story? You mean how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Tell me. Alright. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects. Yeah, he's an asshole. The enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, he steals bodies, shit. Occasional slaves, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Have myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the forum. His dream is to get 12 fat slave girls. Place to be when the fire broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I walked out of my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named a camper, push it for me. Motherfucker. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't left with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it. And I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin. So I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. You chose the cart, didn't you? Of course I chose the cart. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put me in the car, and I guess you realised what was happening, because those pretty black eyes of hers go all white. And in one swift motion, she tosses the whole bloody thing at the driver. I think I see where this is going. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank, not far from here, with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. 
Seems sounds like you got what you deserve. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I've lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. This you know, asshole. More this is like electric guy. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tower claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Really, I hadn't noticed. Oh yeah, got to watch that. That was sarcasm. Has got your back, Thanks, bro. Wait, tell me the oh, other something. option. Oh. Terrible for inflation is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around. It's He's like an AMD stock trader. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. For a scour this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Thank you, Frank. I'm not your friend. Maliolus. I mean, Sengius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Certainly. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? What the fuck? Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply because you supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Did you hear that? Never mind. Uh, are you sure you're feeling alright? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navy on our hands. She claimed the statue was a whisper, but nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and. We never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this silky or not? How much just take it instead? Well, if you did that, you break the golden rule, and we share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? Maybe I do. What do you want if not hand them over now? Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see you? Motherfucker! <laughs> Fine. Oh, you have it. I'm impressed. Pleasure doing business. Very well. You lose the money anyway, fucker. Because I'm gonna restart the world. Help. You have to do something. What the fuck is this? A man arrives in the bar. Real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. Do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Wait, who are you? But now's not the time. Fabia. Are you going to help or not? Sure. Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. I have to find it. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Well, that escalated quickly. Are you okay? Well, shit. Oh, there's a warning. Shit. Fabian, no! Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go with them? Oh, please, yes. Oh, he just leaves. He's like, all right, back to work. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how to save her. We'll figure it out.
Greek statue of a woman. A woman. This statue probably of the goddess who but this is perhaps a local Greek resident knows more about her. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm not going there yet. Some secret shit. No cookies. Where's my flashlight? Oh. <sighs> this game, man. There's so much shit going on. Alright, so we search all this. What is here? Oh. Oh. Okay, you guys have to wait. Like, I'll get to you. First, I need to do see this. You see this? It's like no, I can't explain it. Uh. Stop right there. I'm looking for Tiberius Quintius Crispus, otherwise known as Quintius. Do you know where he is? I don't know him. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quintius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Got it. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people, and what is this place? A small community. <laughs> I was told Quintius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. We're not cultists. You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? We can't leave. So you admit you're not allowed to leave? We physically can't leave. Threatening me is not going to help you. Case, I'm not threatening you! That sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? It's not a mantra, it's a warning. Uh, a distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this monster. Now tell me, where did you not get enough gold to make all these statues? Ever wants people who are turned this world this punishment. Oh my fucking god, you're retarded! You're distorting what I said. Yes, you are! You're a fucking assassin! chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. What can you tell me about Quintius? Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes. One oh. green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burned half of Well, the Emperor was the one who did it, but whatever. Perhaps the Emperor was looking for a scapegoat. Who are you to challenge what the Emperor says? Were you there? Do you have spies and scouts all over Rome like he does? I need it. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me? I don't know where he is, you fuck! I have no idea who or where he is. Ah, then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? Uh, 
Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. You said you wouldn't kill me if I told you the truth. And there's a simple explanation for you. Motherfucker! But if you want to know the truth before you die... Tell me. Here it is. Once I'm done with you and creatures, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. And I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Can I take his bow? Oh! Can I take the bow? I want his bow! I can't take it, fuck. Come on, give it to me. I can't take it, okay, whatever. Wait, how is Dooley not... How did Dooley not turn? Too dang. Well, it's when they break the rule. All the golden statues awake and they kill everyone. And Sentius goes, performs a ritual for me to go back in time and stop it. This fucking guy. We had this conversation like fucking 50 times. Oh, is that right? Can't have you disrespecting me. But listen. Most you seem live. All right, Fred. All right. Huh. Can I talk to this bitch? Let's try to hit her up again. Oh, you're here. And uh, there's a. Oh, coming on a bit. I take that was this. What a bitch. Oh, Fuck you. You oh. catalysts cannot catch the drops of water and the tree you run. Don't you just love springtime? It's springtime for Hitler and Germany. Alright, who are you? Oh! Of it. You're beautiful. Oh my. I think that people are quite direct where you're from. Yes. I suppose it's quite charming. Oh. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a vessel. I don't give a shit about some fucking priestess. Stop being a bitch. I'm in a hurry. Bitch. Oh, a hurry, you say? Well, in that case, let's do it your way. You just keep doing yourself and ask whatever you want. It'll be a refreshing change. Yeah, let's do that. How did we end up here? No, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? Why are you asking me? I want to get and drag me out of a river unconscious and send me in here. Oh, and nothing about that name seemed odd. Yeah, it's a meme. I see where this is going. You do? Well then, have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I did. I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any happiness. You're being a bit coy. I've already noticed the pattern. Some people mention the river. Oh my god, I get it! It's hell! They all were carried by a river! 
because of the fucking what's his name? The fucking ferryman. And they were all bad people. They all did bad stuff. So this is a hell. Oh god, tell me. Is there a short version? Oh, women don't vote. <laughs> women and voting. What? Such as by using whatever gift the gods gave you. Nothing on his award, of course. To roll. I am responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Can I nominate another candidate? Oh. Assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Oh. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner. If there's a good reason. What do you wish? Certainly. Can you give me more Oh. Okay. So, Equitia, the fucking privileged bitch. Back here. So who? Coco. If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe, how can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Hey? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. I 
as if I'll be afraid of you, little man. Interesting. Centus and Malolo send excrement different smell. Yeah, that's how it sounds to me too. Oh my god, there's so Wait, let's fuck you. Octavia, no to Octavia. I know his friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless and keep you. I'm sorry I could not risk discussing this with you in person. But if I am right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but I know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the case behind the theater. Turn right at the first fork and again at the second. Oh. Wait, is she Christian too? So this is where Octavia lives. The fuck? I thought she was a slave. And some slaves look like kings. Kvitya's chest. Okay, so this is Equitia's house. She lives with Octavia here. Good to know. Lives on the second floor. She Kulka. Sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. Oh. Nothing here. Okay, okay. So that's another house then. Who's here? More ink. It's the same fucking house. God damn it. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the system, are you? Why not? Who the fuck are you? I wasn't, but now I am. Mm-hmm. Nobody told you about Hannibal. Oh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the systems looking for junk if you clean up himself. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the systems are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? <laughs> a few days later, he goes back in. An hour's go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie, I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. What the fuck? What did you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Oh. That's a great story, but I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. Oh. Well, I'm not going there right now. I'll wait a little bit. It's so this... Motherfuck... Coco! But this guy is fucking... Me, huh? I have to talk to these two guys eventually. My pee pee. My pee pee is revolting. Give me a second bench. Dear Diary, told my father. Today my father suggested that I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course, I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. Oh! I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets, Cynthia. Fuck! She's smart. She's a smart one, isn't she? Cynthia to Sentius and Cynthia may come and give you the strength to forgive me. Oh, what the fuck? I still have to leave you this way, but I found a way to scare. Must take it. I hope we meet again someday. 
What the fuck? That's a new one. Okay. It's just another entrance. Very interesting. Well, so good this bitch. This place has become a thoroughfare. Ugh, I wish Horatius could stop letting barbarians... Sir Sentilla. What do you want? Bitch, what's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you know that if you've been invited in here and introduced properly... Shut the fuck what up. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Charming. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped, and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Sentinel. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help? I don't know. Can you can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpy? When did you all see the her? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together and I remember she seemed happy. Uh... In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. She was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Probably didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him, why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prize cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Is where the, her lover was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. So that might speak to a guilty conscience. True. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Sentia, Sentia, Sentia. Why are your names also similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. Oh. I think it's their way of branding us. Yes, like it is. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. You explain the relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing it out the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Oh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. I tried. Do I need to ask Horatius to... Fuck. I thought it wouldn't work, but I had to try. Sentius chest. Okay, we read that already. We're finally alone. I assume you already know. I'm both going to this conversation before. Wait, if I understand correctly. Yes. I must have entrusted you with the little amount of the yes. is. is that about right? I can't stop it from being broken. Ah, look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now, I assume you sort me out again. Of course, what is it? Oh. Why it looks... I was going to ask you some questions. But is your... Oh, never mind. Good. Sextus Centrus Imperiosus is my name. Though Magistrate is the proper... Before I wound up here, I was a Decurian in the Cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the Barbarians. It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. 
but today I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So, it's in prudence. My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic, and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. What do you come to be a magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would deflate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Very well. I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the lonely peoples. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods. The sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Yes. Thank you. Alright chat, I'll call it here and we'll finish this tomorrow, alright? I think I've played a long time, I don't know how long this game is gonna be, but it's fucking awesome. So thank you for dropping by, enjoy the rest of the day, love you all, and have a good one. Popingos.